quintuplets, we're gonna have five notes per beat. We're gonna count them like this. Taka-din-a-ga. Let's hear it with the kid. Alright, now I know that was kind of a tongue twister, so let's slow it down. Let's see what this sounds like. Just isolate. Alright, so ta ka din a ga. That's ta ka din a ga. Ta ka din a ga. Make sure you say it real pointed, like real staccato. Like you want it to be a percussive thing that you're saying when you're counting these notes. Taka denaga, taka denaga, taka denaga, taka denaga. If you're slurring the way you're talking about it, it's not going to end up clean when you start playing it. So now that you've practiced that and you've got a handle on it, let's take it back with the kit. Taka denaga, taka denaga, taka denaga, taka denaga. All right, now it's really important when you're doing these to practice them within other subdivisions as well. You got to take it in and out of things that you're already comfortable. So let's hear what it sounds like going, just reducing our subdivision. So top of the 16th notes, triplets, 8th notes, and finally quarter notes. Great, so I hope you enjoyed quintuplets. They're one of my favorite subdivisions. So you can look forward to it. We have 16th note triplets, septuplets, and 32nd notes coming up at least. So until the next video, practice this stuff, have a lot of fun with it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, share this stuff around, and I'll see you guys inside the next video. Bye. Let's uh, slow that down and talk about it. Fuck! Mother phone! I gotta figure out how to lock the rotation on this thing.